Hey guys. Hello. Okay, we got a five minutes. I'm just getting everything set up, making sure everybody can see us. Making sure we're good to go. Give me a minute because I won't be able to see your comments. I gotta get in on the other phone so I can see y'all. Okay? So hold on tight. Give everybody a minute to come in. I think there's 27 of us in here today. And then the pedal tip. And the breast tip. Okay, almost ready. So how many of you ladies are gonna work alongside us? Or is everybody just watching? Watching? Oh my goodness. Everybody's watching? Really? Okay, this way I know not to ask how you guys are coming along if I need to slow down. <laughs> you got it? Okay. Alrighty. I think I think, I think we've had plenty of time to let everybody come in. If I don't see your comment, just post it again. Remember, I'm going to be looking down, and I'm halfway blind. Yes, I sent a list that e to the email attached to your PayPal. You got a supply list. The only person that should have gotten a supply list was the one that just paid like right now. It's um, Nicole. Nicole, I think, is believe it's her name. Okay, y'all ready? Sorry, I'm not on camera today. I'm a hot mess. I was sitting on my couch on my big butt, and then I looked at the time, I was like, oh my god, I got 40 minutes to get everything ready. No problem. Okay, so just message me after this, hon, and I will forward you the list, okay? I didn't have enough time to send you, to add you to the class and email you the supply list, but you will get it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to introduce myself and my sister. Uh, my name is Jasmine. You're welcome. My name is Jasmine. My sister is Olivia. Olivia, and we've had the sprinkle bar going on seven years now, I believe. 
It all started because my daughter wanted cake pops for her pre-K class. And mom was too cheap to pay for them. Hi. So I had to learn to make them. And I shared them on Facebook. And everybody went crazy. So there. That's how we got started. Anyway. So today we're going to be working on the monogram. The cupcake monogram. This was not an idea created by me. I do not want to take credit for it by any means. This was created by... Sophia Maya Cupcakes, I believe. She's in Australia, if I'm not mistaken. So I took it, or I borrowed her idea, and I've changed it. I've added to it. So I'm going to show you the way I do it, and then you can check out the way she does hers, and pick whatever one works for you better. Okay, so today we're going to be doing two different sizes. This M is a 8.25 inch paper mache letter this is a small version and this one I sell for 45 and this one fits anywhere from 9 and 10 mini cupcakes and then we have the large paper mache letter and this one I will show you how to fit 12 cupcakes into it okay this one is a 16 inch paper mache letter and you get both of these letters you can find them at Hobby Lobby I tried finding them at Michael's, but Michael's didn't have them. Or at least my Michael's didn't. Yours might. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start. The, the, I'm going to tell you. The way you can fit more cupcakes into your letters is if you put them in here while they're still warm. And you let them cool inside here because they will form to the shape that you want them. Okay. You see how this one is kind of tapered at the end and wider at the bottom. At the top, it's tapered at the top and wider at the bottom because it's conforming to the, to the shape that I need it. Once they're cool, then you can pull them out, decorate them, and then put them back in. Just make sure you put them back in, in the way that they're supposed to. Otherwise, if you let them cool outside, then you won't be able to manipulate them into fitting into your letters. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start with the small. All you're going to need for this one is an X-Acto knife. Of course, peel off the tape. I am not going to be decorating this one, but you can decorate the sides. You can either Mod Podge it and add glitter to it. Can you bring me the glitter letter, sister? You can glitter it. Or you know how they sell that duct tape? Duct tape brand of the glitter tape? Or Michaels and Hobby Lobby have that, that tape for the for their... For their marquee letters, that one works perfect. You're going to trim it, and then you're going to cut it. So this is the glittered letter. This letter I sell for $25. Well, it's not a letter. It's an ampersand. I sell it for $25. It's glittered on both on all sides. I use a fine glitter and, and uh, mosh posh. Okay, and I do two coats of it. So you can do this same process. You can do just to the sides and the back side of your letter and then just cut off the top. But I usually just do it like this or I do the tape. And this is, like I said, it's very, very easy. You just punch a hole and we're going to follow our letter. Do you guys need to be brought in closer or are you guys fine there? fine okay you don't have to cut it right okay good you don't have to cut it right up against it we're gonna we're gonna clean it up you know what sis yeah i forgot the yep you have it up just up there okay so we're gonna clean it up be very careful when you're doing this This is very hard for me because I am not one to stay in the line. I cannot cut in a straight line. I cannot trace in a straight line.
You can do this same. You can do this with the numbers. You know how they sell the paper mache numbers. They sell the, the symbols, like the hashtag. They sell, what else do they do? Just letters and numbers? Just letters and numbers. numbers and symbols. I think that's it. For like for a sweet 16 or a quinceanera, we it's have, an uh, yeah, we have a monogram one coming up, a large one, and it's for a, uh, for a bridal shower. Welcome. <laughs> so, you also got to keep in mind, some customers want you, want to know if your letters stand up. Some letters are able to stand on their own. And some letters need a little help standing. By little help, I mean you can glue some of those tongue depressors or uh, popsicle sticks, you know, the big ones that you can find. Decorate them and glue them to the bottom of your letters. Okay, so I cut it, and then we're going to separate it. And the inside, it's got more cardboard. That's what helps it from caving in. going to remove that because we don't need this. We don't need the guts. <coughs> and you see how it's all jaggedy? We don't want that. We want it to look clean and professional. So all I do is I lift up the edge, go all the way around it, and I lift it up. Once I have it all lifted, then I just come back with my X-Acto knife and I clean it up. I follow the line. It's got a little line. You're able to tell where the crease is and you just follow that crease. Be very careful. Your X-Acto knife is sharp. You gotta do it kind of at a sawing motion because if you try to just pull it, you can um, rip some more of the paper. And we don't want that. We want it to be as clean as possible. This is a process that takes a little bit longer, but believe me, it, it makes for a cleaner product. You're fine. You didn't miss much. All I was telling them was that <clears throat> some of the letters, if you want to fit more cupcakes into your letter, fit them in while they're still warm, like straight out of the oven, because you're able to manipulate them when they're warm and form them to the shape that you want them. If you wait for them to cool down, and I'll show you that in a minute, because I put my cupcakes in my large J warm, but they're going to go in here already cold or semi-cold. I'm almost done. 
Now this next step that I'm gonna do after this, it's not necessary. You can skip it by all means, but I like it. So I do it. Cause you're still gonna have a little bit of straggler left behind. Okay, so I cleaned it up. You see that? Not perfect, you can still see some of the little jagged edges on it. But then that's where your sanding block comes in. Like I said, this is optional, you don't have to do it. I like to do it because I want my product to be as clean as possible. So all I do is I take it and I run it across, I run it across the, my, the top of my letter. And all it does is it takes off any of that uh, paper that's still on there. It makes everything nice and even and smooth. It, and if your clients are like mine, mine repurpose everything. Like ones for the wedding, before they even bought the monogram letters, they wanted to make sure they were able to repurpose it. I'm like, yeah, you can repurpose because they're doing it. They wanted to make sure they could use it for a shower, that they could use it for whatever. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be glittered. Mine is going to be glittered all the way around on the outside. Hold on. The inside can be filled with flowers. It can be filled with candy and set on the table. Whatever you guys want. difference or am I the only one? Am I crazy? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's a standing block. Yeah, you can see it? Okay. <laughs> okay. So you buy it at Home Depot. It's a Home Depot. It comes in a pack of two. You can do it, I guess you could always do it with a nail filer, like a cheap nail filer from the dollar store. The ones you buy in bulk, you use one, toss it out, and it's okay. <laughs> I know, it had to be you with the craziness. Okay, can you hand me the cupcakes? So I'm going to go ahead and fit the cupcakes in first and see. That way I know how many fit in there, how many flowers I can, how many different type of flowers I can make. Okay. So these ones are still a little bit warm, okay? So you see how they kind of uh, took the shape of the letter? Instead of the cupcake opening up the letter, it's conforming to the shape of the letter. Push them all the way down. Some are going to be big and round, and some are going to be different, different shapes. The center of the M is what's very, very tricky to do. What do you know? I'm going to fit 12 because my cupcakes are still warm. Okay. Do you see how the bottom ones kind of turned into an oval? The center one looks like an arrowhead. And then the top one's kind of going to look like a little heart, rounded off heart, because the, the point of the end pushes down on it. But if I were to put these cupcakes in here, um, I could only fit nine or ten. Okay. I think it should be probably be cool. They're cool enough so that we can go ahead and start piping. So <clears throat> this one, I usually do tissue paper in it. Okay, but I'm going to do this one a little bit different. Um, it could be something. 
something that I've been wanting to try, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work fine, and I'm going to do it with you guys, okay? So here are my cupcakes, and we're doing, I have three different shades of buttercream. I'm doing red, pink, white. If you took my um, cupcake bouquet class, you know that I love white buttercream. I put it in all of my arrangements, all of my flower bouquets. Anything that has to do with flowers, I have to have white in there. It doesn't matter what colors I have over here. The white, to me, kind of breaks up the craziness of these colors and gives it a more of a natural look. And then we're going to add green for the leaves. I did not ask you to have the tip for these, for the, for the leaves or the grass, because I wasn't going to show you that, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. And you guys are watching anyway. You're not working along with me, so we should be fine. Okay, so we're going to be doing roses, uh, rosettes, we're going to be doing hydrangeas, and chrysanthemums, and I think that's it. that's probably it. Oh, a ribbon rose, and a ribbon rose, okay? If you guys took my bouquet class, you should already know how to do it. Um, and remember, those are basically the only flowers I know how to make. <laughs> Not really, but yeah. Oh, we have a Russian tip. This is the tip we're going to be using today. We are going to be using a Russian tip. The Russian tip is entirely up to you. This is your choice. Okay? Can you see it? You don't, if you don't need to have the Russian tip, I'll show you how to make the tulip. And then you can always do that. And then we're going to use a Wilton 2D. I use an Arcos 845. It's the exact same tip. Okay, great. It, the Atos 845 is the exact same tip as the Wilton 2D. It's just a bigger tip. I like bigger tips. And then we're going to be using a Wilton Petal Tip 104. Okay? And then if you don't have a Russian tip and you still want to make the tulips, you're going to need a grass tip. Okay? I will show you that. <coughs> Okie dokie. Let's get the pipe in. What, what flower do you guys want to see first? Nobody? The tulip? Person tulip. <laughs> the tulip. <clears throat> Alrighty. When working with the Russian tip, you need to make sure your buttercream is firm. It's a firm consistency because if you do too soft of a buttercream, it's not going to work. It'll just drip over. You need it to be able to pipe it, lift it, and for your flower to keep its shape. Okay? Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, Sorry, guys. My husband always decides he needs something from me whenever I'm on. For the Russian tip, I'm pretty sure you can. I've never tried it. I don't like this meringue. It tastes too much like butter to me, but you can try it. I believe so. I've seen it make gorgeous flowers with it. Um, I'm thinking, what color do we do? Um, pink. Pink and white? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're doing pink and white. I guess we're going to leave the red for the rosette. Can you scooch that out for me? Mm -hmm. We're going to do our two-tone. We're going to do a two-tone, okay? When doing two-tone, you take your main color. I use um, American buttercream. I use the crusting buttercream. I like crusting buttercream um, for several reasons. Because, I love it, not playing. I like it because 
whenever I'm putting my, my flowers into my monograms or building my bouquet, and if I tap it or accidentally hit it, I'm not going to lose that whole flower. Nothing happens to it. I'm not in the camera. Okay, sorry. You, um, you're going to apply your main color to the outside. I'm sending buttercream everywhere today. <laughs> everywhere but where it's supposed to go. Keep in mind, the Russian tips are really, really big. So you're going to need a lot more buttercream than what you would normally need for any other tip. Okay. Okay, so I have that. Now we're going to do white in the center. And the white in the center is just because to give it a two tone. There you go. Yes, it takes a lot. It'll hold a lot of buttercream. <coughs> okay, so then we're just going to give it a good squeeze once we have it layered in there. Give it a good squeeze until we see both colors coming out. All right, here goes nothing, guys. How many flowers did I say we we're piping? Four. Four? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I pipe, I take my cupcake out just because they're already in the way that they're supposed to, and then I put it back in. So this is what it, this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. You have to make sure all of your, can you see there better? You have to make sure your whole tip is touching your cupcake. Otherwise, when you pull up, it's going to uh, bring the center out or whatever petal is not touching. So what you're going to do, you touch your tip straight up and down to your cupcake. You squeeze, you release pressure, and you pull up. You see that? These are a pain in the you know what to do. But the good thing is that they're, it separate petals, so in case one breaks, you can just pull it out. Put it on, and you pull it out. You cannot make these very, very high, because then they fall apart. They start to droop. See, the centers keep coming out. You see where my tip's not touching all the way down? I didn't get now one good one, but here you go. I'm gonna keep making some more. We need four of them. <coughs> can you see? Here, let me zoom. Can you zoom it? I just bring it in. Or actually, can you take it off? Here, I'm, we're gonna move you real quick. Take it off of there. Put it on the table. Is that better? We've brought the camera down. <coughs> yes. Okay, because I can't see because it's sideways. That's right. Well, yes. Ugh, my buttercreams are crusty. Did it, did it turn? Yeah, it turned. Okay, so you're going to touch it. You're going to squeeze it, lift it a little bit, release pressure, and pull. Release pressure and pull. Touch all the way down, release pressure, and pull. Oh, I lost it. I think we're good with that one. You see? And then whatever comes out over here, just wipe it off. And then that fits back into your cupcake mode. Just put it yeah. in first. Okay. I'm going to try to see how many we can get. Okay. Again. 
Touch your cupcake, squeeze, lift a little bit, release pressure, and pull. Touch, squeeze, release pressure, and pull. Remember, your buttercream has to be very, very firm for this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay? Don't want to see those a couple more times. We're going to go ahead and do some of the big ones. I'm working on both of my bouquets. This is a 16 inch one, um, penthouse suite. It also fits 12 cupcakes. And you see how this, uh, the one at the bottom, it's tapered at the top and regular at the bottom. Because they're put in, they're put in warm so they can conform and cool in here. Same thing. Start in the middle. Squeeze, lift, release, and pull. Squeeze, lift, release, and pull. If you don't get these tips on your first try, it's okay, because they are very, there are very, very hard tips to master. Okay. Start in the middle. Squeeze, lift, release, pull. Oh, you see what happened? Side. I don't like that one. Okay. Can you can you bring it up, like tilt it up just a tiny bit? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, right and I like to all uh out my flowers. I don't want all of them the same together. Yeah. Start in the middle and then work your way out. Some of them are going to have center, some of them are not going to have center. Now I'll show you how to make it with a grass tip in a minute. We're going to use the exact same color. I'm going to squeeze it into another bag. Can you give me a couple more bags? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And can I get a, a coupler real quick? So I'm going to show you how to make it without the Russian tip. You're going to need the 104 pedal and you're going to need the grass tip for this one. Or... If you don't have the 104, the um, there's another pedal tip that kind of curves. Let me show you. Don't ask me what number it is because I don't know. But you see how it's, it's the pedal tip, but it has that little curve on it. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell? I, I don't really... I don't think you can see. Yes. Okay. That one also. Yes. Okay. That one's really good for making.
gonna show you on the lid of my buttercream. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of buttercream in here. That should be a little bit for the center. Okay, the way this one works is you're going to build a little mount. you're gonna get your cupcake you will build a little mount in the middle and then you're going to do your little your little grass tip okay so we're gonna get some more buttercream I'm just gonna show you all pink I'm gonna make it all pink this is just so I can show you how to make it without the Russian tip And this is exactly like the petal tip. The petal tip always has to be the wider side, the wide side touching the cupcake and the thin side up, okay? So then all we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap our center first in a couple of different uh, petals. It doesn't have to be one all the way around. So you can leave it like this, like a bud, or you can keep going. Always stay at a 45 degree angle because if you go out further, then it um, your flower opens up, okay? You got it? You want to show me one more time? Got it? This little curved, you can probably see it better because it's got icing in it now. But the little curved in it, again, again is perfect for your. Do you have a nail? Mm hmm. That's me. I'm going to show you guys on a flower nail. You got it? I'm going to show you one more time though, okay? <clears throat> and then we're going to move on to the rest of our flowers. So let's say this is our flower now. We're going to build a mount. Remember the height of your mount is going to determine how tall your, your flower is going to be, okay? And then we'll do our little spikes. And then we're going to use our curved flower tip, petal tip, and we're going to wrap it. With, let's say we're going to use three different strokes, okay? So there's one. There's two. And there's three. You could leave it just like this and make it a bud. Always make sure when you... Okay, so you piped your first one. Make sure the second one starts... Okay. Uh, it overlaps or center in the middle of that one and wrap, bring it around, Okay. So, so there's this one, right? And I start in the middle, and I bring it back around. You guys see that wiggly? The more pressure you apply to your bag, the faster the buttercream comes out, and the more fringe you have in it, and the better it looks. Got it? Yes? I'm going to put it in the freezer real quick. I'm going to use this flower later. Go ahead, put it in the freezer for me. <coughs> I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to make rosettes, right? So we're going to leave those to the end. We are going to make hydrangeas. 
How many of you guys know how to make hydrangeas? Hydrange. Hydrange. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can I get a bag? And we're going to make pink and... Oh, we already did pink and white. So I guess red and... Pink and... Red and pink. Red and white. No. The red and... Uh, no. Okay, so you know how to measure your... To put your, cut your piping bag. You take your tip. You take your tip and you put it over your bag. And then you cut right where it... Cut right where that comes to an end. <coughs> For the hydrangeas, you don't need to remove your your cupcake from the uh, from the monogram. You can pipe it right in there, and your rosettes are the exact same way. You can pipe them right in there. <coughs> Red and pink hydrangeas. What color hydrangeas y'all want? She's fixing to make a little bit of lavender for me, so we can add another color. I'm gonna use red and pink. Again. Pur you want purple? Answer me. I'm going to do purple and white. Okay. So for that one, we're using the, the close star tip. Um, it is super red. The red is, is it Americolor? The red is Americolor super red. If you don't have that one, the super red, you just have regular red. All you have to do is add a little bit of pink to it. Add, add a little bit of pink to it and then it'll get you a really, really, really vibrant red. Okay? Almost ready? Okay, well, we're going to move on to a different flower because she is taking forever. <laughs> what do y'all want? Do y'all want to do rosettes or do you want to do chrysanthemum? Is it chrysanthemums? No, they're not chrysanthemums. You want to do the, let's say, let's do the ribbon rose real quick then. What tip number for the, uh, which one? For the hydrangea we're going to do, it's a, it's a, the Wilton 2D. Notice I don't change out my bags. 
because I like to keep the colors in there. To, it kind of starts layering the colors and it gives you a little bit of this color and a little bit of that color. And it kind of makes everything blend together. It makes it, um, what do you call it? It, it kind of flows, is what I'm trying to say. We're going to make a little bit of ribbon roses, of red ribbon roses. And a ribbon rose is just that. It's just a whole bunch of ribbons put together to form a beautiful rose. This is a tip 104 for the it's a petal tip. I'm gonna make the center for it first though. For the center for my ribbon rose, I'm gonna use the grass tip because I don't have any frosting in my other one. Let's start with a little cupcake. Same thing. Just build a little dam in the middle. I'll do three of them. You can always do the centers of the flowers a different color, a shade darker, a shade lighter, to give them some contrast. Okay, so I did my centers. Again, when using your petal tip, the wide side always goes touching your cupcake. Always, okay? So ribbon rose. We're gonna wrap our center. We're gonna to touch, squeeze, wrap around, okay? We just wrapped it, that's all we did. And then from that, it's just gonna be short little, pet, short little uh, ribbons. There's one. Remember I said offset it? I mean, make sure you come halfway back and do another short ribbon. You're gonna to have to wipe your, your tip every once in a while because it builds gunk. And if you, if you let it build up, then it'll pull the, uh, the other frosting off. I kind of underfilled my cupcake today. This one you want to try to keep it at a consistent pressure because we don't want all of the ruffles in it. We just want it to be ribbons. It. Do me a favor. Can you clean the camera? It looks like it's, or is it your phone? Or does it look murky on my side of the phone over there? No. Okay, so we push that back into place. <clears throat> Again, we're going to wrap it. You can make you can make the center tight or open it up. And then we're going to do short little ribbons all the way around. I always tend to offset my center, so I gotta shake my flower back into place.
This is. I'm gonna bring it right here. This is the reason why you need the crusty buttercream because once you start pulling them back into place, you're gonna have to tap the other flowers, and if it's not crusty, you're gonna smear them, you're gonna mash them, you're gonna do whatever to them, and we don't. We want to keep them the flowers as intact as possible. Yes, these are really, really big sellers. Do you have a price in mind yet? What are you going to sell them for? It is the way. Mm hmm Yeah, for any personalized, anything fancy. Try to, you keep piping until your flower looks even. You don't want to have more petals on one side and less on the other. If you need to use the, something to push it down in, like a toothpick or something, go for it. Help yourself. That's why we have crusty buttercream. Last ribbon rose. And then we're going to move on. The prices of the letters. How much do we charge for the letters? We charge 45 for this one and... No. Yeah. Yes. 45 for the small one and 85 for the big one. Because you're not... I mean, they're paying for... Like I said, they're paying for the design. They're not paying for anything else. They're paying for the customization that they're getting. Same goes for the bouquet. Did you charge for the bouquets and what size? Okay, so that's that. We're doing a big one. Oh, I'm gonna finish the little one first. We're going to do here we go. Small one's 75. That's good. How many cupcakes did you fit into the small one? That's great. God, I guess I guess all your clients like their boozy cupcakes, huh? I layered in the purple on the outside and the pink one in the center. And this is for the for the um, hydrangeas. And this is tip Wilton 2D. Okay. Again, you're going to squeeze it out until you have all of the colors coming out. This one's looking pipe them right here, right where they are. That's great. You go, girl. You mean, let me guess. Was it the Hennessy one?
Okay, for the, uh, I've trained you. You're going to use a star tip. You touch it to your cupcake. You're going to squeeze, release pressure, and pull. Squeeze, release pressure, and pull all the way around. This is a flower that has, that is kind of um, bulky. So if you can overfill your cupcake by just a little bit so you can get that dome on them, that is great. You don't, you don't have to use as much frosting to build height on it. Do you see that? Do they? Would you believe me if I told you I've never had Hennessy? Touch, squeeze, release pressure, and pull. Touch, squeeze, release pressure, and pull. Now I've got two of the same flowers together. Dang it. Me either. <laughs> you need it? Yeah. I don't drink. Yeah. No what? I'm gonna put the other flower we we uh, froze in here. Okay. Is it frozen? And remember that flower, that tulip that I made that kind of got a little happy. We're gonna go ahead and add it to this cupcake. All we did was stick it in the freezer. I'm going to add a little bit of butter, buttercream. <laughs> so it's frozen. Pull it off and I'm going to stick it. All done. Can I get some green? A bag for the green? Now, remember I told you I wanted to try something different? So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add pipe in leaves instead of using the tissue paper. So we'll see. The leaf tip is a Wilton 352. I didn't tell you to get this tip because I wasn't going to show you this way. But since we're here, might as well. I'm going to go ahead and try it. Yeah, might as well show you. So I'm just going to fill in, like, in the middle right here. I'm just going to add a little bit of buttercream to hold my flower, to hold my, uh, my leaf. That's it. And then the big monogram we're going to use tissue paper in, okay? <laughs> oh, I don't think I need that much green, but oh well. I already got it all in there. How many do you have? I only have one kid. And she drives me nuts. Okay, so I'm just going to go in. We're gonna, oh, Lord Jesus. We're going <laughs> we're gonna to add greenery, okay? You squeeze, release pressure, and pull. I'm try to cover up as much of the um, cupcake liners as possible without having to use tissue paper. <laughs> hmm? Since she's never tried Hennessy either, she goes maybe because she only has two. Yeah. And <laughs> two adult kids. Two adult kids. 
Sorry, I'm going to be turning it forever. I'm trying to figure out where to put my leaves. FYI, there is such a thing as adding too many leaves. <laughs> We're going to be here a while. So go ahead and get your Hennessy. And tequila. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I drink? You want to know what I drink? Uh, Wilton tip 352 it's the the leaf tip it's got like that little triangle opening in the tip what do you drink Jasmine uh, I drink coke that's what I drink he doesn't even drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. That's nasty. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. I don't do coffee. Thank you. Coffee is for old people. <laughs> like you. Like me. Yes, like yeah. me. <clears throat> What's it say? That's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm <laughs> What? She says you called her old. <laughs> oh, you drink coffee? It's okay. My sister's old. My sister I has to drink coffee everywhere. She's not allowed to have coffee in my car. I will kick her out. I love coffee. I, I like caffeine. Coffee. I like Coke. I love coffee. Coca-Cola. I have to drink coffee every morning. And I love Every Starbucks. time I go to Target, she's like, can I go to Starbucks? No. <laughs> She's lucky I cut it down to just once a day. I used to have like two venties every day. <laughs> Gross. I used to drink coffee back in the day. Like back in the day when I was in high school, like six years ago. You just quit Coke? Oh. I try to, but I get really, really bad migraines. I can't. Wait, was I in high school six years ago? No. No. No, I wasn't. Jade's 10. <laughs> I lied. 16 years ago? Oh my god, I'm old. I know. I've, I've tried, and it's just, it's horrible. I get really, really bad migraines and get nauseous, and it's just like, I was just like, just have coffee! And then she keeps bugging me, <laughs> texting me, calling me. My head hurts. I'm shaking. Blah, blah. I was like, just leave me alone. The bad thing is she lives next door. <laughs> yes, I need the caffeine. And I said, can you just get coffee and shut up? We try to leave it every year for Lent, caffeine. No, and they lasted. I I think I went as long as two okay. months, three months, and I still had the migraine. So this is the way I wanted to try it. <coughs> you can still go in and fill in with some buds like little buds here and there but what do you think does it look better with leaves or does it look better with tissue paper i don't want to overdo it 
I think I could yeah. maybe do some little, little not, not with this one. No more leaves. No, no more leaves. <laughs> Get me. I'm going I'm to work on this one at the end. But this is what it kind of <coughs> looks like. Um, lighten this one. And then give me the, 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 uh, one tip. The round one, the little one. Here, take this one with you. Okay, ladies, we're going to move on. You too. Yeah. And I love the smell of coffee. <sighs> oh my mustard. god. I'm like, okay. So we're making rosettes. Okay. With my red. We're making rosettes. Everybody know how to make rosettes? I could probably use a little bit more red on this. Um, I did which what letter was it? I think it was this one, the M. But you have to wait for your cupcakes to crust. And if you're going to stand them up, you need to add um, buttercream to the back of them so they adhere to the, to the letter. Let me see. <coughs> if my cupcakes fall out, I swear to God. I didn't put it. I know. I didn't glue them down. Don't fall out, I told you. Yeah, no. I can't do it because you're supposed to add buttercream to the back of your cupcake and then stick it in there because the buttercream works as a glue and it'll glue it to the paper mache. Or you can add glue dots or you can add um, the double-sided sticky. Sticky glue, the double-sided, the, the... Double-sided tape. Yeah, the double-sided tape, but the strong one, like the one you get at uh, Home Depot. What am I looking for? You should do the Okay, so now we're doing the big one. Okay? We're doing rosettes. So I'm just going to use my same bag. Pipe out my purple. And fill it with red. Actually, I'm doing white. Yes, these are the Russian tips. The tulips are a Russian tip. You can always catch it on the replay, or if I have time at the end, I will show you. I will show you, okay? I'm going to make white with a little bit of purple and pink. All I'm doing is filling my bag with white buttercream. Also remember, you see how we did that letter that was that the letter that flower that was frozen. You can do that. You can put all your cupcakes in, uh, pipe your flowers on a flower nail on, on wax paper, and then uh, freeze them. Come back, put a thin layer of buttercream over your cupcakes, and start sticking your flowers on there. It does the exact same thing. Okay, so we are doing. Rosettes. Rosettes, all you're going to do is you're going to build in the center, lift, keep applying pressure, wrap around, release pressure, and continue your motion so that it'll turn into a rosette. Okay? I will lift it in a minute. Apply, raise, release pressure, keep bringing around. are the rosettes. Can you see the rosette? Okay. Now we are going to do <clears throat> I can't remember. Pinhouse okay. Sweets, do you remember what I said this flower was called? Is it the the one that you tic tac toe? I can't remember the name of it. A chrysanthemum? No. What is it called? I don't remember. I'm bad. Okay, oh, so uh, you build a little uh, mount. Dragon rose. Three. 
you build a little mount and then we're gonna crisscross it three. four three times Chris one two oops three okay you can't spell it no is that a ribbon rose anyway so we crisscross it and this one's always at a 45 degree angle because if you go 90, then your flower is going to open up. Okay. We want it to keep it nice and tight. So this was three. The next one should be six. One, two, three, four, five. I did seven, six, seven. And again, I shake it because I always bring it off center. And remember, always keep something so you can wipe your tips because they do build up because they're big flowers. And you can always get a bigger tip. Okay, so the next one should have 10. 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't know what flower this is. I forgot the name of it. The last one, I'm going to open it up just a little bit because I didn't want to go ahead and get to the edge of the cupcake. I can't remember the name. <laughs> okay, so it's done. It's going to go into our arrangement. <clears throat> oh, I don't like this arrangement. I need more buttercream. It's a tip 104. Something mum, yes. Uh, but I don't think it's a chrysanthemum because that one, I think that one's a spiky one. I can't remember. I will let you know when it comes to me. And if it's in the middle of the night, I'm going to periscope. Y'all better wake up. <laughs> I'm trying to think for the life of me. I can't remember. Do you guys want to know who has really good flowers? Candy. Candy Pittman, I believe, is her last name. Okay. Again, build a little mound right in the middle. And then we're going to crisscross it one time, two times, three times. And then the next one is six. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Why do I keep saying six? <laughs> They are yummy. They are pina colada cupcakes. No alcohol. <laughs> virgin pina colada. They're virgin pina coladas. Ten. One, two, three. more row and then we're going to spread out a little bit.
You can use a way bigger tip for the large cupcake that will give you, of course, a bigger flour. But you won't have to go around as many times. Remember I told you about the crusting buttercream and the reason why? This is why. Look, I broke it. No worries. We pipe it back on. Russian tip, touch, squeeze, release pressure, ha <laughs> ha, that didn't work, it was pressed it already. Squeeze, release pressure, and pull. Why isn't it sticking? You're not pushing the button. There we go. I wasn't touching the cupcake. Okay. One more rose and we should be done. And we'll make another flower. We'll make the chrysanthemum again. That's good. Build your little dam, shake it into place, and then we're going to crisscross it. One, two, three. You can shake it into place. We'll go seven. One, two, And I always have to count. I don't know why. It makes me feel better when I'm counting. We're doing 10. Now we're going to start opening it up. <coughs> I guess you could say this is a rose too. It is a type of rose. I can't remember the name though. Okay. There we go. We're going to put it in its place where it belongs. Do our um, hydrangea, okay? Do purple and white. Do our 
dark and dark purple. Remember the purple goes on the outer side of the bag. We have that. I'm going to give it a squeeze until we have both of our colors coming out. And we start piping. Touch, squeeze, release pressure, and pull. When you add white to your hydrangeas, when you add a different color for the centers, it makes them look more realistic. Instead of them just being a whole blob of the same color, they look better. You could even do three colors. I did some that were uh, pink, ivory, black. Yeah. Pink, ivory, and black. Okay, so that's that. That's your J. That's your M. With the J, we're going to go ahead and finish it off. We're going to add our tissue paper. Can you, can you see or do you guys need to go back up high? Can you take us back up? We're going back up, okay? So this is the new way, and then the other way we, we're going to finish it off with tissue paper. Okay, I don't know if you've seen uh, Sophia Maya's cupcakes, her monogram. All she does is she fills in the cavities with, with more buttercream. You are more. You can do that, or you can finish it off with tissue paper. Um, I do green tissue paper when we're doing floral, or if you're doing something that's all the same color but different shades of it, you can do tissue paper that corresponds with that those colors. I like using two different colors. I like using a, a light color and I like using a dark color and then I'll alternate them when I put them in. Okay, so we have our lime green and then we have our forest green. In one of the cavities or one of the little openings is gonna go with the with the lime green in and then did you okay and then Whenever you do it on the other one next to it, we're going to do the forest green in, okay? She's got really good stuff. I like her cupcakes, and I think she does nothing but mini cupcakes. So that one was the lime green in, and the next one we're going to do the lime green out. And I'm just going to alternate like that all the way around. And I use... I use a uh, cake pop stick to help me push them into place. The tissue paper, all it's doing is just filling in those holes. And this is another reason why it's very important to have crusting buttercream. It's so that uh, whenever you're pushing them in and you touch your flowers, Again, they don't break up on you. You don't mess them up. You don't have to use the tissue paper. You can um, 
You can just fill it in with buttercream like Sophia does. If you guys have any questions, you all want to see anything again? Yeah, whenever you go to make them stand up, you have to apply buttercream to the back of your cupcake. But the way you apply the buttercream is you don't just add a blob in the middle. You have to, um, all right, so let's say this is your cupcake, right? And then you're going to pipe a circle of buttercream. Not a lot, just a little bit. A circle. you got to leave the gap in the middle. So that when you push it down into place, it creates that suction as well and it keeps your, your cupcake in place. If you have to let it cross and let it and do its thing before you can stand it up. Some letters cannot stand up on their own. This J, the, S. the J, the S cannot stand on their own. The O stands on its own. Yeah. Um, the letters that, the, the letters that are, do not stand on their own, you can add the large tongue depressors to create a, a flat bottom on them. And um, that will help you. It'll help them stand. But you gotta make sure first that you remember to apply that buttercream to the back. Or you can do double-sided sticky tape, the industrial kind. It's the depressor is a, a like the big fat um, popsicle, sticks. popsicle stick. The wide ones. It's a big popsicle stick. Uh, yeah, you could probably use the cake board. You can glue it. You can glue the letter to the cake board. Yeah, doctors check your throat with it. Yeah, but now doctors just, they keep them hidden away. <laughs> <laughs> they hide them from you so you don't steal them. <laughs> I'm under lock and key. Damn, doctors. We're just used to calling them tongue depressors because of work, but they're called popsicle sticks out here. In the real world. I'm Jasmine. And my sister is Olivia. <coughs> Almost done. Gotta hurry up. go into cake boxes. This little one goes into a 9x9 nine nine cake box and the big one has to go into a bigger cake box. So this is 16 inches. So into like a, uh, what's it called? No, I think it's like a, is it a sheet cake? Yeah. Sheet cake box. Yeah, she cake. Move the little midget over. Yeah. This is another 
reason why you use the crusty buttercream. When you push your tissue paper, if your tissue paper touches your flowers and it doesn't soak up the grease because your buttercream has already crusted. You want to know if you need to go at room temperature? Yes. Yes. I usually do them the day of. Like I bake everything that night and then the morning of, I will assemble them. Assemble everything. Alrighty, lady. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get my M to stand up now. Nobody make me oval. See my M? Here we go. Like I so anybody have any questions? Thank you. I know I kind of looked iffy there for a minute. So we wrapped it all up. Thank you, ladies. No problem. So anybody have any questions before we go? You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you guys for allowing us to teach you. Thank you for the heart. Okay, well, if you guys have any questions, um, you have my email address. Thank you. The letters are from Hobby Lobby. As far as I know, Hobby Lobby is the only one that carries them. Uh, maybe Joanne, oh, yeah. uh, but I know at Michael's they're only seasonal. Thank you. So, well, I don't... And I guess you can always order them online. The small one is an 8.25 inch monogram letter. And the large J is a 16 inch paper mache. They're both paper mache letters. Um, I'm not doing the cupcake class bouquet. Again, I have the, the link out. The link is available for purchase. Let me see. If I do, if I do another class, another cupcake bouquet class, it'll probably be in March. <laughs> yes, so they're on sale today. Go stock up. You have you watched the replay? Um, I will send you a link for the replay. Uh, Miss Nicole, they're, we have. They're fifty percent off the letters. Uh, that's what they. Said. I gotta go give me some letters though. Oh man, they're close tomorrow. Um, I wish somebody would tell me. Nicole, we have to email her. So yes, Nicole, I will email you the material list. I'm pretty sure you can get them online, too. And there has to be, well, they're pretty cheap. The, well, the little one is two ninety nine, dollars and the big one is nine ninety nine. dollars Okay, I didn't know the letters went on sale though. Yeah, because I think when we bought it, ours was on sale. Were they? Because we bought them. Because I remember the first time I saw them, they were like, this one's were like $5. Yeah, go, run. <laughs> you got the big one for $4.99? Awesome. All right, ladies. Can you say it? Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. Stock up. Um, if you have any questions later on, we are on Instagram, <laughs> on Facebook, <laughs> and on Periscope. So you can just message us. You're welcome, sweetheart. Make if y'all make them, please tag me so I can see. We'd love to see what everybody yeah. makes. We'd love to see what you guys create. 
If they're prettier than mine, don't send it to me. I'm playing. <laughs> Thank you. And I will guys see you guys around. <laughs> I know. You're welcome, hon. I gotta start doing all my Valentine's stuff tomorrow. Alright, loves. I'm gonna go because it is Saturday. And it's the day that I go out to eat. And I gotta go remind my hubby. <laughs> awesome. We would love to see it. Penthouse Suites does awesome jobs. Her bouquet, she rocked it. She did. I loved it. Yes. Alright. Bye, guys. Bye. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.